I have an iPad Mini 3 here, and the doesn't charge. Um, when I plug it in, it uh, doesn't recognize the USB port, uh, the charger. And so what I did was I plugged the battery into a USB charger. So I can show you guys what it looks like. All right, let's see. All right, it looks kind of like this. So USB on this side, and I think you can probably get it on. It says mini here. So I plugged this in the charger and charged up the battery. It looks like the battery was pretty much dead since it hasn't been charging. Um, no obvious signs of water damage or anything else weird with it. Um, so my guess is probably Tri TriStar. And this uses the 1610. So, anyways, I'm going to replace the uh, TriStar on this because I think that's probably the easiest step. There's no underfill or anything. I mean, it should be relatively simple. So, the iPad Mini 3 uses the 1610A1 chip, uh, TriStar chip, okay? Those are prone to fail. So, I think. That's what I'm going to do, alright? Uh, I'm going to heavily tape this because I don't want to burn the battery or anything like that. I don't want to burn anything. Um, I don't really, also don't want to take it out of the case here because that's going to be a nightmare. So I'm going to use plenty of heat sinks. I'm going to use plenty of heat sinks on the battery, that's for sure. Um, tape that first. And I just want to make sure I don't jack anything up here. Uh, let's see, heat sink over the SIM tray and that is it. I hope this will be pretty straightforward. I really hope that this will be pretty straightforward. But I've never done this, so we will see, okay? Um so let's get a little closer here. Okay, so I got pretty much everything taped down and everything, so don't want to jack up the battery or anything. Uh I'm gonna go to four fifteen. It might take a little bit longer, but you know what? I oh, will go to 450. All right. So let's go. Just make sure that uh, the A1 is facing me. Make sure nothing's burning up, man. It's taking a little while. Still not going. I'm 
I'm at 450. Maybe I really don't want to burn that battery up, so. But I also don't see the components. Like, kind of. I mean, I've been on this for a while now, and I got nothing. There it goes. There we go. All right. So just make sure that sucker is facing me. Let me get my 16A, 1610A3 chip out. Let me clean it up first. Hello? Okay. I think this is the easiest thing to do. I mean, if there's no underfill on it, it's easily accessible. Um, All right. Dang it. Got an extra one. All right, let's back. What I've been doing is I like heating it up a little bit before I uh, 
put the chip on just to get see if I can get a better bond. So I just kind of heat it up a little bit, and then I will pop it on here, All right, just like that. And you can tell this is the 1610A3, okay? All right, I think that's good. So to make sure, just make sure it's aligned pretty good for you uh, heat and heat a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of flux. Okay, it's good. And then let's go. See, that's not completely aligned, like, pretty good. I mean, it should be a little bit higher. But it's already melted a little bit, so I'm going to try to push it a little bit. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, that should be good. Okay, so that's aligning itself. I'm going to leave it now and then just heat it. All right, let's see what kind of damage I did. Hopefully nothing, but never know. Okay, so that's good. Everything is hot. Didn't burn the battery or anything. That's good. So. Alright, let's give it a go. <laughs>